Hi everyone, I'm JD Hoovener, your host of The Bold Today Show, where you, the inventor, entrepreneur, or business owner, get your daily inspiration to make the world a better place. We're in our litigation series, patent litigation at that, and we're talking about the details of in the trial, right? We just yesterday talked about claim charting and the very nuanced approach that experts and judges and juries have to look at at each sub-element of the claims. That is the effort that a plaintiff must make in order to demonstrate that an infringement has occurred, a direct infringement. So let's say that the plaintiff fails, right? They're not able to show that the defendant, right, the accused infringed product um, is indeed infringing um, on each of the elements. There is another way and it's almost always argued on top of the direct infringement, and it's called the Doctrine of Equivalence. So about 20 years ago, the Doctrine of Equivalence came about because the exactitude of trying to get a, a precise element to, to show that it's infringed isn't always possible. The way that the human language and English language is, the terms are sometimes hard enough to, to be able to prove one through con construing them and then showing them to a, a jury. So what they've done is they said, look, if, if, if the infringement is happening, right, the product that's out there is performing substantially the same function in substantially the same way that yields the same result, there's patent infringement. So that's the quote right from the statute. The doctrine of equivalence allows, believe it or not, the ability to bring an infringement suit even if there's not literal infringement. So what this does, it makes it a little bit gray, right? You need to work with a patent attorney to make sure uh, that what you're doing in the market perhaps is not going to be infringing on the claims or an equivalent claim of a patented product, something that's already out there. So if you've got questions about maybe you think, oh gosh, I'm selling a product that I think might be infringing. You've got to get with a patent attorney to see if there is an infringement happening. You may be liable. You don't want to spend all the time and money and effort launching your business if you're not certain about your risks in the marketplace about potentially infringing another patent. Um, if you want to get some more information about this, we have our book. It's on our website at boldpatents.com. It's available for free download. You can also give us a call and schedule a one-on-one -on -one legal consultation with one of our patent attorneys. Uh, that's at 800-849-1913. It's been my pleasure talking with you today about litigation, patent litigation. We've got two more days coming up to discuss. I'm your host, J.D. Hoovener of the Bold Today Show. Go big, go bold.